Hey friends, this is Alex from Vulture Culture, and today I'm going to be doing a demo and review of the mighty Event Horizon by Stillwell Audio. It's a clipper and limiter, and it's fucking awesome. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Stillwell Audio makes a lot of really awesome plugins. Uh, they have all sorts of stuff from uh, really cool compressors um, to uh, dither and all sorts of uh, spectrograms and stuff like that. Uh, they have a really good uh, reverb called Verbiage, I think is how you would say it. The awesome thing about Stillwell is it's a small developer and I like supporting small developers and it's also extremely cheap for a mastering grade limiter. I think this is the cheapest I've ever seen. $39 and if you're using Reaper, you can get it for $25, which is basically nothing. Uh, and if you're using Reaper, if you open up your JS plugins and you type in Event Horizon, you can see you already have it built in here. Uh, and what this is, is basically a stripped down version of the plugin. It doesn't have a graphic user interface. And it's just the clipper mode, it's not really the limiter mode. But um, yeah, it's really useful and it's already in Reaper. So what's really awesome about this plugin is it's both a clipper and a limiter. So uh, I'm assuming you already know what those things mean, but if you don't, what a limiter does is it shaves off the top of the peaks of any waveform uh, like this one uh, here. You can see that there's uh, peaks and valleys here and a, a limiter gently uh, brings up the sustain of these parts here so that it, you perceive the song as being louder. It's probably the most important part of mastering. Uh, and what a clipper does is the same idea, except it just shaves off everything hard, which generally creates more distortion, but sometimes can be very useful. So this is my new track, Cadaverous, that's coming out soon. And uh, here's what it sounds like uh, without the plugin. And here's with the plugin. Pretty big difference. Okay, so uh, we could also pop it over to clipping mode here. And what this does is this is um, this is no latency. So in fact, uh, a little secret that a lot of people don't know is that every single video I've done has had Event Horizon on uh, the master output and that's how I record with zero latency uh, and also have it be compressed enough for you know YouTube and stuff like that. So uh, if I put it over here on clip, you can hear the difference. Sounds pretty good, but you can hear a little more distortion. It just cleans it up really nicely. So, what's really awesome about Event Horizon is this soft clip. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to turn the threshold all the way back up to zero. But I'm going to use just the soft clip here. Now what this does is it's like clipping, um, and you can use it in either mode. So you can use it in... Um, in the clip mode, so we're zero latency. But instead of it being a harsh clip, basically a square clip or something that's gonna cause a whole lot of distortion, it's more of like a gentle analog distortion sort of a thing. And I think it's probably, I mean, it's the coolest feature on this whole thing because it's um, a pretty good replacement for something like tape saturation on the master bus or something because you can get some nice uh, analog warmth, but it just does wonders to the volume. So check this out. I'll push it pretty hard too, so you can hear it. So you can see I'm getting six decibels of clipping here and it's smooth as butter. This is zero latency. I mean, it's pretty awesome. And I could use some more hard clipping to bring up the to bring up the uh, the sustain. Now, if I move it over to limit here, you can push this thing pretty hard. 
So we're definitely getting some distortion on the kick drum. But for certain genres, I mean, that amount of, of distortion is not that bad. And you can see our integrated levels very, very harsh right now. So that's much louder than I would ever push anything. And we're getting that with with uh, pretty cleanly. It doesn't it doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, so it's a really just absolutely awesome plugin for twenty five dollars as a Reaper user or uh, thirty nine dollars as a uh, a user of any other DAW. You really can't beat the price. So one other thing, I mean, I use the clipping mode when I'm performing live, and I'll have all my synths and everything going through this, and it's all zero latency. That's the craziest and most awesome thing about Event Horizon is in clipping mode, it's zero latency. You can see it's zero. I, I don't know why sometimes it says of one hundred and thirty three samples, but it's zero. Um, and it's just awesome that still well made this plugin. I think it's the best 25 to $39 you could spend as far as quality to, uh, cost ratio goes for a limiter. And, um, it sounds great. It's totally radio ready. Pushing the, the volume here. And it's still retaining so much of the clarity and so much of everything. I mean, it's it's really just, uh, it's crazy if you want to have really, really loud mixes. Or uh, if you want to have really dynamic mixes, there's something here for everybody. I think it's a great plugin, and I like to support small devs as often as I can. And there's probably no better company to support than Stillwell. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.